Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa. It could be a storage room out the back of the Louvre, the Uffizi, the Tate or the Prado. But no, this is Windsor. A veritable cornucopia of colours, almost 2,000 pieces just waiting to find themselves a new home. We are gobsmacked with the variety of things that have been coming in in the last uh, few months. There's everything from original oils and watercolours, there's etchings, there's engravings, there's military prints, there's beautiful bush scenes. It's Brisbane's annual pre-loved art market and organiser Susan Davies reckons there's a piece here to be found to suit everyone's taste. The best thing about it is, despite several of these pieces being worth in their thousands, not one will be sold for more than 50 bucks. Yes, this oil painting is quite interesting. It was uh, done by an Italian artist who had an exhibition in Brisbane in the 1960s and it was donated complete with all the documentation and newspaper article about with the artist with the actual painting. So that should be a great find for somebody. An absolute steal of $50. Absolutely. Art historian Helen Malone is in heaven surrounded by this lot, from oils to exceptional watercolours. Um, this one's done by Eric Wisson, who's a well-known local artist. He was a teacher and a painter and has, was born and still lives in the Brisbane area. So a lot of people will be very familiar with his work. And at $50? $50 is fantastic buy, I'd say. <laughs> Even prints have come into their own, and there'll be plenty on sale on the day. This piece is by David Rose, an Australian printmaker with uh, pieces in national and state galleries. This piece is by Phil Greenwood, a uh, Welsh printmaker. It even comes with a certificate of authenticity from Christie's. How about a Darcy Doyle print autographed by the artist himself? Or an original Leahy cartoon artistically describing the state of the National Party back in 1987? Everything has been donated by generous locals, and even Susan is astounded by some of the pieces, particularly a couple of centuries old engravings. Uh, there's a pair of them, uh, Dr Johnson and his old friend Boswell. And I think for engraving and old print collectors, uh, these are uh, very much collector's items. Now once you've bought your artistic bargain, you may not like the frame it's in. Now don't panic or cut off your ear in frustration. There'll be close to a thousand frames on sale as well for no more than $20 each. Ideal to adorn your masterpiece. Of course, what I know about art really isn't worth canvassing. But part of the fun of the day is delving into the pile and maybe coming up with a gem that suits your tastes. Even if the artist had a bit of trouble getting the smile just right. We want people who to feel who would never dream of stepping inside an art gallery to actually come along to what is in effect a trash and treasure and they certainly will find a lot of treasures. When the crowds flock to Cartwright Street at the end of the month to pick up a bargain it'll all be for a good cause. Money raised will go to help support the Karuna Hospice Services. It's a wonderful organisation that uh, provides free of charge um, nursing and uh, counselling and equipment services to people who are terminally ill to allow them to remain in their own homes rather than have to go to hospital. Organisers are still accepting donations and with the art market taking place on the 31st that gives you plenty of time to donate a piece to a worthy cause or simply show up on the day. You never know what you'll walk away with. Mona Lisa.